starting at verse 57. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, glory to God. This is the Psalm of David. That thou art my portion, O Lord. I have said that I will keep thy words. Mm. This is something that we need to do. Hallelujah. We need to take the Lord as our portion. Amen. Hallelujah. There was a time when we were running around in the world doing what we wanted to do. Amen. And I think so. I'm so thankful he found me when I wasn't even seeking for him. Say, I entreated thy favor with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me according to thy word. I thought on my way and turned my feet unto thy testimony. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. The hands, the bands, this, this, this little Bible right here got caught in my van when it burned up and the water they put in there kind of fizzled it up a little bit, amen. Hallelujah. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten thy law. At midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee because of thy righteous judgment. I am a companion of all them that fear thee and of them that keep thy precepts. The earth, O oh Lord, is full of thy mercy. Yes. Teach me thy statutes. Amen. And the verse that caught my attention was the 59th verse. I thought on my ways and turned my feet into thy testimony. Amen. And this is a psalm of David. Mm -hmm. And saints, I don't care how long we've been saved, how much we think we know. We need to think on our ways. Yes. Hallelujah. We're so busy nowadays in time trying to think about what everybody else is doing, but we need to think on our ways. Yes. Lord, is my way pleasing in your sight? Am I doing what you want me to do? Yes. Is my life a light to those that walk in darkness? Hallelujah. Glory to God. We understand. We know who David was. Amen. Hallelujah. We know how David, amen, played his music and soothed King Saul. Yes, And how Saul tried to kill him. Amen. We even remember what the word told us, how David cut off the hem of his gum. Amen. Hallelujah. And then repented for that when Saul was trying to kill him. That's right. Hallelujah. And even Samuel was afraid to go when God told him to go anoint David to be king. That's right. Hallelujah. And David was so little thought of when he got down there. Hallelujah. The father called all the other sons out and left David in the field. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No one talking about it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, yes. So we know who David was. Yes. And when Samuel anointed all of them in the oil, oh, this run, right. wait a minute, do you have another son? Right. I know God told me to come and anoint your son to be king. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And all that David done, David made mistakes. Yes. Yes. We all make mistakes. Yes. Yes. We need to realize our temple in Sunday school this morning. And some of y'all, this is good as God. Y'all yeah. don't know as much about me as the rest of me. I'm sensitive. <laughs> I don't have no problem telling you about me. Amen. Right. It don't do me no good to fool you because you don't have no help and you don't have no hurt. Amen. Right. <laughs> Amen. And you don't even get to tell nobody who's going to hell. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. So I can tell you about me. And I am not ashamed to admit that I've had problems in my life. Even since I've been saved. That's just the Lord's Lord. saying. Some of the things the Bible says don't do. I've been very good today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, 
Lord. But see, I had this temper. Mm -hmm. And when it comes down to it, mm -hmm. I tell you, I said, one of my favorite scriptures is where it says, There is no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. Yes. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. Right. But will with the temptation make a way of escape that you be able to bear it. Oh, yes. oh Lord, I thank God for that. Right. Oh, see, yes. That's the scripture that's going to save me. So many times, that scripture going to save me. Amen. Since I've been saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. When the man snatched the key out of my car and he kept on running when it was supposed to go dead, he kept on running anyway, so he switched the key back in there and I took off. Oh, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. For two blocks. And then the devil jumped in. Uh -oh. <laughs> he got you turned in the street and started looking for me. Amen. That scripture saved me. God would not allow me to be tempted above that I was able. Right. Good time. Amen. I'm going to tell you like it is. I just look at you. But if you realize what God has brought me from, it might help you to know He's able to deliver you. Yes, right. Yeah. 
Yeah. We'd have sent them to hell right away. Oh, They'd been on their way to hell on the slide by now. <laughs> but we got to learn. We got some issues too. That's right. I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't gamble, I don't commit adultery, I don't commit fornication. Uh, I, I, I got it all together. And I can't stand you. Where you think you're going? Come on now. Where do you think you're going? Thank you. We got to get it together. We got to consider our own way. Yes, yes. Jesus said, save yourself from the sons of war generation. Yes. There was a generation of people that was not the word God. This is the generation. Amen. 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 I used to keep my my car radio tuned to from the broadcast. And you know, that's it. When they have the news and all of that, they tell you all this stuff going on. And uh, that lady was uh, interviewing, uh, I guess, whatever, it was, one of the high men in the Methodist church. Mm -hmm. And they're talking about how they're trying to come together. Uh, there. The woman was asking, well, it's going to be a, a nasty divorce between the churches because these believe in uh, same sex marriages. and these believe in the tr traditional way. What is wrong with people? Don't you believe God got the last say? Yeah, yeah. All right. Y'all can have all the means y'all want to. Y'all ain't gonna make that right. It's wrong. That's right. Hallelujah. You might as well be free. But then also understand another thing. Homosexuality ain't the only sin. Amen. <laughs> Think about it. That is not the only thing. I don't do all that stuff. The Bible says a lot you ain't going to hear in. It's tight, but it's right. It's right, man. It's right. It's time for us to think on our way. Amen. Hallelujah. And it's time to haste and turn our feet to the testimony of God. Yes. It's time for us to get in the Word and know what thus says the Word. Yes. It's time for us to learn what God is requiring of us. Yes. Come on now, come on now. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Lord. I love to hear the saints testimony of what God has done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And sometimes that helps you a lot when you're going through, when you realize that, amen, what God has done for others, he will do for you. Yes. 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 Lord, yes. you save them, you deliver them, hallelujah. You see, there's no temptation taken, but such as is coming to man. Everybody been through it, going through it, will go through it. Right, right. Mm -hmm. But we got to save ourselves. That's right. Yes. Amen. As I tell you, sometimes I say, and you don't have no guarantee that because you live holy and you do everything God say do, that you will not go out there and get in your car and drive down the street and some fool run a stop sign and hit you and kill you. Amen. That's right. You ain't got no guarantee. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to understand something. The Bible says it's important to man wants to die. You're going to die something. If God heal you 99 times, Hundred times you don't die. You won't die. If you don't be caught away in the rapture, you will die. Say that. Say that. Amen. You are not going to step over the grave if you don't get caught away in the rapture. Simple as that. Amen. But if he takes you, if you walk out the door and somebody shoots you, if you are ready. You will hear the Lord say, well done. That's right. Thou good and faithful servant. Amen. And that's what it's about. Amen. That's what it's about. That Amen. is what it's about. Amen. Amen. Being ready to hear the Lord say, well done. That's right. Yes. Hallelujah. And thanks, we have to be careful. I tell them sometimes, I say, <coughs> all the time, I like to illustrate things. Jesus did parables. 
But I remember, I live right over there, not too far behind that courthouse thing. But at the time, there was no courthouse. There was nothing out there but there. Mm -hmm. So I could see this end of the street. And I was on my way to Oakland with my mother and my father. My uncle had passed away, I think so. I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be ready that when they come, I'm going to be able to walk out the door and lock the door. I got my bag, sit down by the door, my purse on my arm, and I'm standing there by the window. I'm watching for them to turn the corner. Mm -hmm. We're going to come from Lexington and Cary. Mm -hmm. So when I see them, turn, I'm going to come out the door and I'm going to lock the door. And I stood that bag. <laughs> and I stood there. <laughs> and I stood there. And I stood there. And I stood there. And finally I decided, oh well, let me run in the kitchen and get this. Guess when they came? <laughs> the point is, you can't let them trick you to stop walking with God to go get something. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah. Jesus comes. Come on now. Yeah. 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 He is going to try every way yes, he knows how. Yes, yes. But it behooves us to remember the word of God. That's and right. Do what he said to. Amen. Amen. See, my daddy used to say, and Brother Herman says it a lot, you can't stop the devil or the bird from flying over your head. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to let him make a nest. That's right. Amen. 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 You will have some thoughts that come to you. Have you ever did one of them numbers shook your head so hard when the devil brought something to you? Trying to shake it out? Amen. If it means start repeating the 23rd song or whatever it takes to get that thought out of your head, you know, then you start dwelling on it. Resist. After a while, you go hey, act on it. Hey, That's when you let him build a nest. Amen. Amen. But we got to be careful, Saints. That's right. I remember years ago, a lot of years ago, because Vince Manibrother was 28 years old at the time. So he's pretty old now. He turned white. Amen. But he was down here to run a revival for Victoria. So we decided to go out, ride out on the strip and out, out the freeway out there and go down to the fish hatchery and do some things. And I remember this one particular sign they had advertising the showgirl. And it was a cutout of a showgirl on the top of the sign and her leg was hanging over the front of the sign. Some of y'all might remember that sign. He said, we don't have no signs like that where I come from. So the devil is, that's the bird flying over your head. Mm -hmm. But don't get to thinking about that stuff. Right. Right. Don't get to thinking about it. The, the brother I was talking about from St. Louis, amen, when he came here, we went to the dam, and we took pictures, went down to the dam. We went out to the hotel, and we got to the he was a stardust, and he wanted to go in to get some film for his camera. Just met him two days before. I didn't know him from Adam's Lost Sheep before then, amen. But we went in the hotel, and we were going through the casino. He said, I'm fixing to grab one of these. I grabbed him and said, you better come on in. <laughs> you ain't playing no machine up in here with me. Right now. <laughs> That's right. Say, you gonna do some stuff, though. 
remember one year my mother called and went to Arkansas when my auntie died. And there was a minister and his wife here from California. And she said, y'all make sure that they're comfortable at the church and everything while we're gone, okay? So then they wanted to see the strip. I remember I had a little 78 LTE2. So we went out to Tropicana and get the freeway and started back down. So then she wanted to go in and see in one of the casinos. She wanted to see what it looked like in the casino. I stopped at the start of us, pulled in and parked, and we started walking down through the hotel there. And I can't tell you what this lady said word for word, but it came out sounding like I'm going to play the machine, and I'm going to win a lot of money. <laughs> and <laughs> my head said to me, this woman will win $97,000, and you will be standing beside her when the flash bulbs start going off. Come on, honey, I know where you are. We in the street, what the circus park was up there, where the kid game was. I said, I'm saying, whoosh. <laughs> 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 it's a lot of things you go through and hope the same. Amen. 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 And don't think you so holy you ain't going through none of them. Right. You will. That's right. Amen. 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 Somebody said, it might have been Earl, say if you don't have no problems, amen, and you just going through on flower bed these, you better search yourself. You better think on your ways. Because it's a possibility the devil already got you. Yeah. Right. Amen. 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 I know this ain't no shouting, jumping message. We don't want you to think about it. Amen. We need to think on our ways yes, to find out where we stand with God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Say, at midnight I will rise to give thanks unto thee. Because of that righteous judgment. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Jesus. Jesus. Righteousness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we need to thank him for his goodness. Thank him for his blessing. Thank him for what he's brought us from. Amen. 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 I can stand here right now and tell you the things that God has brought me through since I've been saved. Amen. Hallelujah. And I could hold you. He said 3 o'clock, I could hold you 7 30 tonight, and we'd have to repeat one. Because I got just that many. Amen. I've been at home just a while. Yes, ma'am. And I done had a lot of things happen. Yes. Amen. Thank you. Thank God He has kept me. Yes. He has brought me out. Hallelujah. And I remember when we had a banister around here before we redid the pulpit. I was right down there at 3 o'clock one morning. And the Lord said, I never took anything from you that I didn't give. Hey, hallelujah. Glory to God. That I didn't give back that. God has been good to me. Yes. The Lord has been good to me. And I thank him for it. program on TV said this is your life yeah. and this is my life yes. and I thank God for it. Amen. Amen. I thank him when I had no mind to look for him. Yes. He used whatever he took That's it. to get me into the house of God. Thank you Jesus. To sit down and watch thank you, thank you God to realize that they had something that I didn't have. And the next thing was, Lord, I want it. I want it. And the Lord saved me, sanctified me, filled me with the Holy Ghost. And I pray for him. Amen. And those of you, we have a lot of you that have been baptized in Jesus' name. Some may not have. 
but the plan of salvation, Jesus said, repent and be baptized. Yes. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I'm not going to tell you to come be baptized today, because the Lord has been fooled. What I'm fooled. Amen. Amen. Oh, you put something in today? Okay, all right then. Well, we praise God for that. I hope we don't run it. Me and Earl are running over with this. <laughs> Me and Earl are running over. We had a good time. Hey, man, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Amen. But that is the plan of salvation. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. And don't go down because somebody killed you. But repent first. Because see, if you don't repent, you go down the dry devil, and you come up with wet devil, and you give on. Amen. Hallelujah. No change. No change. And when you don't think, that's it. I've been baptized in Jesus' name. Now I'm okay. You need the Holy Ghost. Amen. The word says you will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes. And if you don't get the Holy Ghost, you're a half-born child, and a half-born child ain't going to be. Amen. Amen. That's the size of it. That is the size of it. Amen. And maybe you already have the Holy Ghost. And you have not been baptized. You know, we call you Cornelius Knights. Because when Peter went down and preached to Cornelius, Amen. And as he was preaching to them, it was the first time since the day of Pentecost that somebody had received the Holy Ghost without them having to lay hands on them. Hallelujah. And Peter turned around to the Gentiles, to the Jews that went down that way and said, Who can forbid what? That they should not be baptized who have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. So they had the Holy Ghost first, but they had to go down in the water. Yes. Amen. <coughs> Amen. And that is the plan of salvation. Lord. And when you do that, then you got to learn how to live holy and walk up right before God. Yes. Wow. You can't do that and turn around and go on back out there and Lord. do all the things you were doing. Anymore. That's right. You got to learn how to change your heart. Amen. So we praise God for you. Brother Ron, come on up here. I trust you got something out of this today. Amen. Amen. Good teaching. Thank you. Amen. A lot of people like, oh, I like to have a musician to make a little noise while I'm I want you to hear what I say. What you do with it is up to you. Amen. Come on, here, God. Hallelujah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.